Lego Edition. What's up guys? Welcome back to Learning with Mr. Learner. Today is Lego Edition, the first ever. And today we're gonna go over how to count quarter notes in a 4-4 measure, all of the different combinations. All right, I'm looking forward to teaching you these basic music concepts and let's jump right into the lesson. Okay, first things first, when we are looking at this, this is called a staff. This is where all of our music notes and rhythms go. We will always be reading from left to right. When talking about rhythm, we are actually talking about moments in time. This is why Legos are such great representations of our rhythm. A four block is always a four block and will take up four blocks of space. Same thing with our rhythms. Today, we are dealing with quarter note rhythms, which takes up eight individual blocks. So every quarter note that we have, no matter where it is in the measure, is going to take up eight blocks of time. Right now, we are dealing with a 4-4 four, four measure, which means that four individual quarter notes can fit inside of this measure side by side. If you look up at the top of the staff, I have one, two, three, four. That tells you where the quarter note is going to start. Let's look at this first one. I have placed one quarter note on beat one. Do you see how from the beginning of the measure, it takes up eight individual blocks, which means the next rhythm, whatever it is, has to start where beat two is or eight blocks later. Now let's add a quarter note on beat two. All of a sudden, now there's 16 total blocks taken up and our next rhythm has to start on B3 because those first two quarter notes took up the first 16 blocks. Let's place another quarter note on B3. Surprise, surprise, all of B3 is now taken with our quarter note. Last but not least, let's add a quarter note onto block four and da da da! We have a full measure of quarter notes. Let's count this together. One, two, three, four. Even though I only counted the numbers, the note actually takes up the entire time between when I say one and then when I say two. So if you are on a instrument like a trumpet, you would actually blow for the entire quarter note. You would go one, two, three, four, as long as the note didn't change. You hear how my voice went through the entire note until I reset a new number. One, two, three, four. When we play an instrument with a short sound, we are still going to wait until all of that time has passed. Our short sounding instrument would go one, two, three, four. You see how I'm leaving the space in between open to account for the time that has passed. Again, rhythms are time. So a quarter note shows us that there is a note taking up that length of time. In this case, eight blocks of time. There's also such a thing called a quarter note rest. A quarter note rest takes up the same amount of time. So if I have a note on one and then quarter note rests on two, three, four, the whole measure is taken up, but I'm only going to play a note on one. I am going to whisper the other counts that we don't play. So if I was playing trumpet, it would go one, two, three, four, and the rest of the measure is silent. So what happens if we have a note on three and only three? We're gonna have one, two, three, four, and we will only sing or play for B3 and only B3. Awesome so far. I hope you're understanding our quarter notes and how rhythm works within a measure. Let's move on and apply our knowledge and count a bunch of different quarter note variations. All right, here we go. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, four, 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 four,
two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, 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 three, one, three, one, three, one, three, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. Awesome job. I hope you had fun in today's lesson and learned a lot about how rhythms work and especially how time affects our rhythms. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson. All right, have fun.